Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today I got a review on Lou Williams signature shoe. This is actually not called the Lou Williams. This is called the Underground. I, I believe it was the Underground Goat. Famuji doesn't say Underground Goat. It just says Underground. And then, but like on Peak's website, it says Underground Goat. So I, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, let's just call it the Underground. And it's going for 115 bucks right now on Fumuji. If you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. Let's get it started off with the traction. So as far as the traction goes, you have a solid white outsole. And I guess kind of like this section here in the forefoot area on the lateral side, it's translucent. And also on the medial half of it, you have a brain pattern, kind of like the crazy explosives. And then on the right side, you have herringbone. If you're playing on a clean court, it's a really, really nice stop. It has a really nice squeak to it too. It's loud. Dust though is not good. You add a little bit of dust into the equation. I guess it is a pretty easy wipe, but you know, you gotta be careful. If you let too much dust build up here, you're gonna be sliding. It's, it's that like pretty dangerous slide. You know, you just boom and you're just screwed. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, uh, roll an ankle or you know pop your knee out or i don't know it's one of those dangerous things where you know it's a pretty bad slip so just watch out on dust but it, the good thing is it is a pretty light wipe so once you wipe you have a few good stops again but you're probably gonna have to wipe pretty quickly after that because it does pick up dust pretty fast as well so if you're playing on the dusty court just watch out you know i probably not the best or i wouldn't really recommend it for dusty courts unless you really don't mind wiping at all, you know? And as far as the durability goes, it doesn't say anything about like an extra durable rubber or anything. You know, usually if it is, they tell you on the site. Uh, and it's a pretty soft rubber. It's really pliable. So I don't think the outdoor use is the best. So as far as the traction goes, it, it's okay. You know, I play on a dusty court most of the time. So uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't my favorite playing in this. But like I said, there were some clean days and it was really good. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition, super smooth in this shoe. You have a lot and a lot and a lot of heel compression, which I love. Thank you, Pete, for doing that. You have a nice curved shape here as well. You have a nice bend here in the forefoot. You know, it's, it's easily bent and uh, you have a nice curved shape here in the forefoot as well. So heel to toe transition, buttery smooth. And as far as the cushion goes, that's probably something you guys are wondering about. So they're using the same exact cushion setup as the Peak Tai Chi Runner and they didn't really change anything about it, which I love. They did cage it a little bit, you know, with this heel counter coming down and then, you know, the rubber coming up here in the heel. And I guess here on the lateral side, but other than that, they really didn't do anything to it. It's incredibly comfortable. It's so comfortable, probably the most comfortable cushion setup in a basketball shoe right now. And it's just, it's so soft. It's so much compression and all that, you know, it just, it, when you're just walking around, when you're just walking around, but once you start playing and jogging, it, get, it actually gets bouncy. But obviously when you're kind of just like playing and not really trying to go too hard, it does, you do feel that lag, you know, there's a, it's pretty damn soft. So, I mean, well, what I'm gonna say is this, like if you don't like to have any type of compression or like not too much and you don't like it to be soft um, and you feel a little, you don't like to feel that lag a little bit, then I probably wouldn't suggest this. You know, it's only for those people like me who like to have a really soft cushion and that, you know, that added bounce when you start running and stuff is a really nice touch, you know? But I also wouldn't say this is the most responsive cushion out there. You definitely feel a little bit slower than, you know, if it was just like a regular, really stiff pylon. But I'll take that, you know, impact protection is really good. Court feels good. There's a little bit of bounce in there. Super crazy compression. So I liked it, but I don't think it would be for everyone. All right, as far as the materials go, the upper, okay, so here in the toe area, you have a, a knit type of material. It kind of looks like a mesh, but um, once you feel it, it feels more like a knit. And uh, not the best feeling knit ever. You know, it feels a little rough to the touch and you know, that extends here in the ankle area as well. Here in the midfoot area, this blue part, or I guess this red part here on the other shoe, is more of a neoprene material. You got a foam back mesh here in the tongue and it's okay. It's slightly padded, which feels nice. But as far as the materials goes, I mean, for a $115 shoe, it's actually pretty nice. You know, like a couple years ago, three, four years ago, it you know, they used to use like really crappy materials. So I'm happy with the direction that they're going. It's nice, you know, especially on foot. It's I wouldn't say it's the thinnest material. Uh, it has a little bit of thickness to it, but you know, it's soft, it conforms to your foot pretty well and all that. So. Uh, materials are pretty nice as far as the fit goes fit was horrendous for me it runs long so it'll go down half a size and for me 
it's a really it's really roomy here in the toe area so if you have a, if you like that type of fit or you have a thick ass foot then you know this is this is the way to go and also width wise i would say it's pretty wide so uh lou williams shoes i've tried a couple of his shoes never really fit me well but if you have a wide thick foot then this is, this will be a good fit for you and it's a really easy shoe to put on you know the heel extends up here actually quite a bit and the tongue opens up a lot so very easy to just slide your foot in there's a fit there very bad for me but of course i didn't add an insole here uh so that did help a little bit but you know that didn't really help the court feel or anything which you know i don't really like adding a, an insole in too much you know on top of another insole but you know it's, it's just what you got to do sometimes if the fit isn't very good as far as supporting lockdown goes it's pretty good you know here in the heel area you have a nice padded achilles pillow or achilles pillows and that locks your heel in you have this caging here in the forefoot and also you do have this tpu heel counter and lateral claim was very good for me i didn't have any issues and you have a very sharp outrigger very wide base and pretty low to the ground cushion so i felt laterally stable and supporting lockdown was actually really good in the shoe all right as far as the weight goes yeah this is fit so this is 15.94 ounces but it has the insulin so it's probably like 15.4 or something like that 15.3 ounces but anything above 15 you guys already know it's super heavy does this feel heavy yes it feels super heavy and uh, i feel like uh, that's what you know these chinese companies are kind of sacrificing is weight uh, they're giving you really nice cushions but i feel like a lot of the weight is coming from the cushion like the leaning light foam is not light <laughs> you know uh, a lot of their shoes are kind of heavy and then you know the, the peak I, I guess the runner was kind of light it was like 10 11 ounces but comparing it to other runners especially like nike shoes it's not light those are like eight seven eight ounces yeah it doesn't really feel light it feels a little bulky it feels a little laggy because of the cushion and it's really soft not a huge deal but for me personally i like to have a really minimal shoe but that's just me all right as far as just casually walking around it you guys already know <laughs> this cushion incredibly incredibly comfortable so if you if you're just walking around you're gonna keep wanting to walk around that's how comfortable the shoe is so uh durability seems pretty good you know i don't have any fraying or anything the only thing i was worried about is just this rubber being really soft but uh it seems pretty good and the upper seems very durable as well it's a thick ass knit so uh durability seems good it'll probably last you a good while as far as ventilation goes like i said it's a it has a thick upper so uh you're gonna feel that so it's, it's a pretty hot shoe moving on to the aesthetics i don't like the aesthetics of the shoe i feel like it's saying underground here on the lateral side is really cheesy but this colorway is really cool it's a clippers colorway and uh it's i kind of like opposite you know where it's red on one shoe it's blue on the other and uh, that's a really cool touch uh, and makes me you know like the shoe a little bit more but that's only the colorway the overall silhouette i don't really like but uh tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below but wrapping things up 110 bucks okay so if you guys want a good performer this is a good performer but i would say just watch out for the cushion because uh it is really really soft and uh if you don't like to have that really soft like it's almost borderline laggy and like i said if you're running around and stuff uh, you feel that bounce you feel a little bit of bounce but you're not running around all the time you know if you're like doing a step back or you know if you're posting up or something it's not you're not putting a high force on the cushion and you're not gonna get like that bouncy responsive feeling as much so um it's really soft and just watch out for that but i enjoyed it you know i enjoyed it i like a really soft cushion uh, i just wish the fit was a little bit better for me but obviously for you wide footers rejoice because this shoe is probably the best option for you so yeah it is recommended but just watch out for those things if you, again if you guys want to cop i'll leave a link in the description box thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one